you know, one of the great things about the Civic Council was that there was there was so much to do. I mean, uh, you could you could have your pick of projects and ideas and issues. And um, I'm an attorney by profession, so I kind of gravitated to uh, some of the the public process stuff, zoning board hearings, historic review, um, and and uh, the preservation issues obviously uh, resonated for me. And since I had certain skills at being an advocate, uh, the other thing that I ultimately took on, uh, took a lead on, was uh, redlining by banks. Um, when the Pittsburgh Community Reinvestment Group began, uh, Allegheny West was invited to send a representative. So I said I, I'd go to the meeting. So I, I went to the very second organizing meeting for PCRG and wound up serving uh, as Allegheny West representative on that board for 13 years while we basically rewrote the, the lending landscape in this town. Um, finally, in talking with the banks, we said, look, we need a purchase rehab mortgage. We buy the house and the contractor cost all in one mortgage so that you could do the house. And uh, sat down with one of the banks. They said, we'll do this. And sat down with the head of the mortgage department and wrote the first purchase rehab product in this town. That wound up doing a, a, an amazing amount of homes, not only here in this neighborhood, but throughout the city. And it's because it opened up the market so that now it wasn't just crazy old house people. It was people who wanted the old house, but wanted to hire a contractor to do the work. And now that was possible. And that really was a big part of changing the market in this neighborhood. We largely ended the, pa the practice of redlining, um, increased uh, the availability of mortgage financing for all neighborhoods, um, and really changed the way banks uh, worked in this city.